those who don't know, the, the demo drop for Fire Emblem Three, um, Three Hopes, that is kind of a sequel, but not really to Three Houses. Um, and of course, it's it's also a kind of sequel, gameplay-wise, anyways, to Fire Emblem Warriors, which came out on the Switch like three or four years ago. Uh, and for those who don't know, the uh, Fire Emblem Warriors is a Musou game, but it's not just any Musou game. Fire Emblem Warriors was really, really, really awesome because they took that Musou formula that you see in games like Samurai Warriors and Dynasty Warriors, and they paired it together with a strategy gameplay from from the Fire Emblem series. So um, it, whenever you would do a fight, you would have anywhere between one and eight different heroes that would be on the field. Very similar to a, a Fire Emblem tactical fight. Um, and as you would start the battle, you would give them commands to help you conquer the board. Rather than going, let's say in a typical Dynasty Warriors game, I usually have to go and capture all the keeps myself. Um, and the gameplay is balanced around that ideal. But with, with, with Warriors, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors, things happen faster. It, it's like Dynasty Warriors on steroids because... Enemies are trying to take over your keeps. Uh, heroes you're supposed to be protecting might fall. You got to, of course, protect your keep because if it falls, it's game over. So you really have to be in multiple places at once. And the way you do that is by sending the different heroes of your team to take care of different objectives. Um, and you could do this somewhat in Samurai Chronicles because normally in Samurai Chronicles, you have two two heroes and you can give them different orders and you can kind of jump into uh, the, their body. Um, so like if you playing this hero here and you got this hero here and you send, you know, the second hero off to the north while you fight a battle to the south and now you need to be at the north real quick, you just go ahead and take over that other character's body. So with Samurai Warriors 2, you had a little bit of that juggling, but it was only with two characters. Same thing with Hyrule Warriors. But the big difference with Fire Emblem Warriors is when you send these characters out, they're actually effective at accomplishing objectives when you need them to. So in Hyrule Warriors and Samurai Warriors, it was very unusual <laughs> for me to send one of my warriors to another keep and have them actually capture it. With Fire Emblem Warriors, if you send an axe user to a keep with a spear user in it, your axe user is usually going to just take it out like that. And you're going to have that keep taken over without you having to pay attention to it and have to jump into his body and conduct that battle yourself. And being able to do that can take a lot of pressure on some of the higher end maps where every second matters and it's really really cool fire emblem warriors this is one reason why i play that game to this day i've spent over 100 hours in the game and i still pop it in and, and play it uh post game doing lots of post game stuff in that one so three hopes has that when it comes to the gameplay side of it it has captured that but it's gone a step further in refining uh how smooth the battle feels the frame rates rock solid um, it was pretty good in Warriors, but you know here it's just rock solid. You have, you still have the, you know, the same things in place. You're going to move characters. You can give them commands. You can tell them to defend. You can tell them to attack. The map in that allows you to do that. You can have them partner up. Um, the map where you give those commands, it's is a little bit easier. The interface is easier to use. It's just like everything for Fire Emblem Warriors has been taking a step up in terms of of how well the the combat works. Um, the visuals look really good as they always do. Uh, for the the only thing I have like a little nitpick about is I feel like they took away some of the anime cutscene cutscene type of stuff from some of the Muso attacks. Um, so it doesn't feel quite as um, anime i suppose when they're pulling off some of the big moves but it's still filling the stream with lots of colors and explosions and everything else so that that part is pretty neat um but the battle the battles are still pretty 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 hugely satisfying then the other side of, of fire emblem was what you do in town and this it takes much more while the battle system comes directly from fire emblem warriors the stuff that you do in between fighting comes directly from Fire Emblem Three Houses. You will be in a camp uh, where you will talk to your other team or see what they have to say. Uh, you can train with them. You have so many units of training time a day uh, where you can train with them to advance them in their class skills. Uh, you can have a meal, cook them a meal to improve relationships. You can actually upgrade your camp so that it can better serve you and the rest of your team members um, and provide more services. Uh, you can uh, buy gifts and give them to people. 
a lot of what's there before is there now, but it, again, it feels streamlined. You don't really have like this calendar month where you're going through one day at a time, which if you played as much as I did, that was starting to get old. Instead, it's like, look, there's four battles you need to do. And when you do the fourth battle, the chapter's over. So do anything you need on the campsite side before you do that last battle. And anything else you want to do is up to you. You've got this many units of time to work with in terms of training and and eating with your friends and stuff like that. It just it it just feels so nice and streamlined. It, it it's almost got everything that Fire Emblem Three Houses has. It, 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 it's but it's 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 just faster. It's just smoother. It's easier to get around. It's easier to talk to people. Like one of the things you could do in Three Houses is you could teleport to different sections of the keep, and then from there find you know to go and talk to somebody, and you could kind of teleport around to get around here. You can actually just teleport right directly to that person and that they got a list of all the people or you can teleport directly to the kitchen or to the barracks. So it's just these little quality of life things that that kind of add up and make the game smoother to play and removing the day by day march. And then, OK, now it's Sunday. Will you fight on Sunday or will you do stuff in town? You got to make decisions between one or the other. No, it's just. It's just all streamlined and, and some of that unnecessary decision-making process. It, it, they did such a great job of just taking out some of that stuff that really wasn't contributing to the overall experience um, while keeping what people probably mostly like, which is making those decisions, making some of the more important decisions that were important, like how the, the characters are being developed and which relationships are you working on together and things like that. Last thing I'll say is you. it does seem at least in the mode that I played, that you can you can go back and do older fights in that chapter as many times as you want to accumulate extra gold and uh, experience for your characters. Um, but but yeah, it, it just seems super, super well done. As far as the story goes, it's set in the same time, roughly, as Three Houses, but it's almost like an alternate universe type of thing. Some of the big things, without getting into the details, some of the big things that happened in three houses primarily with the main character don't happen here and you're playing a totally different main character who is tied in with the old main character in a certain way yeah, without getting spoilers so it's kind of like a what if and it's really kind of cool to see it from that perspective storyline wise um, but you will be talking to the npcs a lot and you will be having uh you know cutscenes with them i personally have picked the same house that i played uh in fire emblem three houses just so I could kind of see this new and different perspective through the eyes of characters that I felt like I already know pretty well. So the my overall impression is I'm very, very excited now after playing the demo for the full release. I'm super excited and I should have it on release date and I will definitely uh, share y'all uh, share more of that with y'all as, as it comes out, maybe stream it or something. But it, it is, it is very, the, the demo is very, very good impression. There was a, there's a couple of nitpicks. Yeah, I feel like they took like, let's say, 30 or 40 percent of some of the crap out of there. But they also pulled away a couple of good things that I would consider good. They got a little bit of baby with the bathwater, but most of the baby's still there, and the baby looks better than ever before. That's my analogy. So I could definitely recommend. Uh, that you check out the demo. If nothing else, you check out the demo. The demo, by the way, takes you all the way to the first chapter. However, I will say with the, with this big asterisk, if you're planning on playing three houses and you haven't got the three houses yet, what's your problem? But if you haven't gotten to three houses yet, you really, you, you want to play three houses before you play three hopes. If you're never going to play three houses, just jump into three hopes and you'll be fine. And it'll, you know, the blanks will fill themselves in. But if you're going to play both, play three houses first before jumping into three hopes because three hopes rushes through some part of the early story that takes away from some of the um poignancy of the original story kind of reminds me with some of the muso like uh, one piece pirate warriors does with the one piece story where they kind of zip through some major plot points and so they don't hit you as hard because it's kind of zipped through so there you go that is uh my 10 minutes of thoughts there on the fire emblem demo we might make a video into the